In modern warfare, the most dangerous weapon is no longer the biggest missile or the fastest jet. Instead, it may be something far smaller, almost invisible to the naked eye. Iran is now believed to be developing and testing nano-drone swarm technology, a capability that could reshape future battlefields through stealth, numbers and disruption, rather than raw firepower. Today we examine what Iran's nano-drones are, how they could be used, and why military planners around the world are paying close attention. Nanodrones are extremely small unmanned aerial systems, often weighing only a few grams. They are typically, hand-sized or smaller, electrically powered, quiet and difficult to detect, and equipped with cameras, sensors or micro-payloads. Unlike large combat drones, nanodrones are not designed for long-range strikes. Their power lies in numbers, stealth, and coordination. Iran has long emphasized asymmetric warfare, using low-cost systems to counter technologically superior adversaries. According to defense analysts and public demonstrations, Iran has tested small and micro UAVs, displayed swarm launch concepts, and integrated drones into IRGC doctrine. Nano-drone swarms fit perfectly into this strategy. They are cheap, expendable, and difficult to stop. A swarm is not just multiple drones flying together. It is a coordinated network where drones share data, adjust flight paths dynamically, and continue the mission, even if some units are destroyed. Instead of one expensive drone, Iran could deploy dozens or hundreds of nano drones simultaneously. Air defenses designed for missiles and aircraft struggle against this kind of threat. Iran's nano drone swarms could serve several key roles. Nano drones can fly into urban areas, enter buildings or tunnels, and observe troop movements silently. Their small size allows them to operate below radar coverage, especially in cluttered environments. Some nano drones may carry signal jammers, GPS spoofing devices, and radar reflective materials. In large numbers, they can confuse air defenses, force radar systems to overload, and act as decoys before larger attacks. This tactic has already been seen in modern conflicts worldwide. While individually limited, nanodrones can carry small explosive charges, incendiary payloads, and disabling devices. Used against radar units, communication antennas, and exposed equipment, they can disable critical systems without large explosions. One of the most powerful effects of nano-drone swarms is psychological. Troops knowing that invisible drones may be overhead, surveillance is constant, and attacks can come without warning. Experience increased stress and reduced operational effectiveness. Fear becomes a weapon. Traditional air defenses are poorly suited for this threat. Nano-drones have tiny radar signatures, fly low and slow, blend into civilian environments and are often too cheap to justify expensive interceptors. Shooting down a $5 drone with a million dollar missile is not sustainable. Iran does not need the most advanced nano drones. It only needs enough autonomy, reliable swarm coordination, and mass production. Iran's strong domestic drone industry and experience with reverse engineering make this achievable. Quantity matters more than perfection. If deployed effectively, nano drone swarms could threaten military bases, challenge naval operations, complicate urban warfare, and reduce the advantage of air superiority. This is especially concerning in the Persian Gulf, narrow maritime choke points, and dense urban regions. Even advanced militaries are still struggling to counter swarm threats. Global powers are responding with directed energy weapons, electronic warfare systems, drone detection radars, and AI-based defense networks.
However, no solution is yet fully effective against large-scale, coordinated nano-drone swarms. The offense currently has the advantage. Military experts increasingly agree. Swarm warfare will be central to future conflicts. Small systems will complement, not replace, large platforms, and control of the electromagnetic spectrum will be decisive. Iran's investment in nano-drone swarms suggests it understands this shift clearly. These drones may be small, but their strategic impact could be enormous. In modern war, invisibility and numbers can be more powerful than speed and firepower. The future battlefield may not be dominated by jets in the sky, but by clouds of silent machines, too small to see and too many to stop. And Iran is positioning itself to be part of that future.